can keep doing that until we have enough money to max out our stock portfolio and then we just leave it there alright here we go here we go up we go never mind down we go never mind anything I said stock dividends are in what did I get in dividends? 1.5 million dollars in dividends? It's not really worth it, is it? If, if every year... Let's see, how many sh do I own? 1 in 10? If every year you get like 15 million dollars in, in dividends, that's like nothing compared to your billion dollars in property tax. It's not really worth it. I guess it's still better than nothing. It's just free money, I guess. Oh good, stock market has soared. It's probably lying, it's probably completely wrong. Yeah, you see that? That is not soaring. That is the opposite of soaring, stock market man. You see that? That is the exact opposite of going up. It's called going down, stock market man. You understand how that works? What an idiot this guy is. Yeah, it's sinking. I see it. I know, stock market man. Well, it's below... F it's going below 5. Nope, not really. Maybe I should just buy... Alright, let's just purchase... Purchase... And I guess we'll purchase... Everything not out of money. We are out of money. All right, never mind. Carry on. Oh wait, have I paid back the loan yet? I haven't. Ah, oh, crap! I should pay back the loan. All right, we're gonna sell at fourteen or something and then pay back the loan. Crash? Really? Really? And rising? Are you insane? Stop market man. Make up your mind. Make up your mind, crazy man. We really should pay back, yeah, we should pay back the loan. We should pay back the loan. And of course, once you have stocks in hand, the prices never goes up. This is so annoying. Seriously, this, this mechanic is so annoying. Ah, uh, alright, keep going. Come on. Stock market is sinking, you say. Sinking, you say. Buy the three dollar stocks, I guess. Well, there goes all my money again. Come on. No, stop it. Stop it. Now you decide to go down. Stupid stock market. A train eight, guys. A train eight. Where you don't bother to build trains because that's a waste of time. Come on, this is ins What is this? What is what is this? What are these prices? What is this? What does it mean? You're hovering around five dollars, what does that mean? Oh look! Stock market has Friggin sword, we are gonna sell probably tomorrow. We should sell today in fact. I don't think it lasts more than yep, it's gonna flat. Alright, we're selling. We are selling 
and we are not having any of these shenanigans and we're gonna repay the loan. Alright, we doubled our money pretty much. There you go. There you go, billion dollars. Just from doing that. Uh, bank, repay. Done. We are done with your loans. This <laughs> is... Thanks. Thanks, game. Thank you. I appreciate your congratulations, game. Alright, well there you go. Play the stock market because that's how you actually make money in this game. Don't worry about anything else you do. Everything else is just trivial and unimportant. Report balance sheet. Let's see, paid interest, stock sale returns, stock purchase costs. Yeah, I just made $1.2 billion just playing the share market. Crazy. Crazy. Um, so I think we figured out a few important things with this recording session. I think we under I think I understand a bit better how the taxes work and the property tax, and also, you know, that the subsidiaries is really the reliable way to make money. Although you need to earn, like you, know, you have to pay a lot of taxes on them, but it's reliable. And uh, and the shares. And the trains are always stupid. Because, look, basically, the railroad profits don't make enough to pay the taxes on the facilities. And facilities includes your stations and tracks, I think. So you don't actually have enough money to... Like, you, don't, you don't make enough money from trains to actually make any sort of a profit. So your subsidiaries will kind of make enough money for you to pay the property taxes and then you just play the share market for extra money that's basically what you do I think what this guy actually says here like the leading hotel company uh, growth 20% last year I think that actually does say something about the long-term trends of the share market. So maybe in like, you know, two or three years, the share market's gonna go high again. It's gonna... Damn it, it went up. I was gonna wait and see if it goes down anymore. Should I buy... Alright, let's buy under three. Or under four. I should have bought yesterday. But today we'll buy under four. And I guess tomorrow we'll also buy under four if it goes down again. Nope, it goes up. Is there anything under four? Should I buy under five? It's kinda going down. Alright, let's just leave it for another day. Nope, it's going up. And the stock market has soared. Thank you, stock market man. And it's crashed. Thank you, stock market man. You continue to be slightly insane. I should probably sell again. Should I sell again? It's pretty high. It's still going up. And it's still going up. That's crazy. That is crazy, I should have bought more. I should have bought more, but that's fine. I'm gonna sell. I should have bought everything, to be honest. And just make some quick money, just like that. Still, we just made almost a billion dollars just by doing that. 
Thanks, game. Thank you. I appreciate that you recognize my funds exceeding two billion dollars. All right. What else is gonna happen? Please go down again. Look, a share market simulator where the share markets are completely predictable, or you know, where there's no where there's no kind of massive uncertainty. It's not a good game. Like the like, what 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 is the meat of this game? It's obviously the trains. There's a train simulation. There's the city growth. Like that's where most of the game mechanics are. But then they made make it so that there's no point doing that. So they make it so that the the game rewards you for staring at the share market. But the share market is like the most boring part of the game. It's like the less the least interesting part of the game. But that's the most rewarding part. So what you what you end up doing is you do that with most of your time, and you spend less of your time actually building trains and building the city. That's not really smart game design, right? Because you have, you have like, you know, if you have like three or four main game mechanics, and then there's, there's like one really fun one and three boring ones, you kind of want to focus the player's attention on the fun one, not on the boring one. But the way they set up the reward system is that they reward you for paying attention to the boring ones. And they, they literally punish you for paying attention to the interesting one because if you just keep building trains and not build subsidiaries or play share market, you will lose money. You will lose the game if you do that. So you have to do these boring things. That's like the opposite of good game design. I don't. <laughs> that makes that makes no sense to me. That makes no sense to me. That's the opposite of good game design. All right, share market man. I can. I see you coming down. I see your numbers going down. Never mind, it's going up. Ah. They just make you pay attention to boring things. I might take a break soon. We've we've kind of done nothing this whole recording session almost. <laughs> I mean we have improved our finances quite a bit. But aside from that we've done almost nothing this entire recording session. That's ridiculous. Two billion dollars in profit from share market. I mean, I kind of want to just buy the shares before I stop playing so I can get the boring stuff out of the way so that the next time I'm playing I just do trains. But like, I'm just, I, I can't stand it now. <laughs> just looking at these numbers go up and down. I, can't, I, can't, I need a break. I think I need a break. I, seriously. No, it's going back up again. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. All right, all right, stop. All right, I'm gonna take a break because I actually need a break. When we come back, we might stare at the share market again, and then after we fill our stock portfolio, then we'll build more trains. Let's. What's it doing? Now it's going up. All right, save the game, and. I'll see you guys in the next video.